Compact Disc is a digital optical disc data storage format. The format was originally developed to store and play only sound recordings but was later adapted for storage of data. Several other formats were further derived from these, including write once audio and data storage, rewritable media, video compact disc, Super Video Compact Disc, Photo CD, Picturic, CDR, and Enhanced Music CD. Audio CDs and audio CD players have been commercially available since October 1982. Standard CDs have a diameter of 120 mm and can hold up to about 80 minutes of uncompressed audio or about of data. The mini CD has various diameters ranging from 60 to 80 mm. They are sometimes used for CD singles, storing up to 24 minutes of audio, or delivering device drivers. At the time of the technology's introduction in 1982, a CD had greater storage capacity than a personal computer hard drive. By 2010 hard drives commonly had capacities exceeding those of CDs by a factor of several thousand. In 2004, worldwide sales of audio CDs, CD-ROMs and CDRs reached about 30 billion discs. By 2007, 200 billion CDs had been sold worldwide. CDs are increasingly being replaced by other forms of digital storage and distribution, with the result that audio CD sales rates in the U.S. have dropped about 50% from their peak. However, they remain one of the primary distribution methods for the music industry. History American inventor James T. Russell has been credited with inventing the first system to record digital information on an optical transparent foil that is lit from behind by a high-power halogen lamp. Russell's patent application was first filed in 1966, and he was granted a patent in 1970. Following litigation, Sony and Philips licensed Russell's patents in the 1980s. The compact disc is an evolution of laser disc technology, where a focus laser beam is used that enables the high information density required for high-quality digital audio signals. Prototypes were developed by Philips and Sony independently in the late 1970s. In 1979, Sony and Philips set up a joint task force of engineers to design a new digital audio disc. After a year of experimentation and discussion, the Red Book CD-DAR standard was published in 1980. After their commercial release in 1982, compact discs and their players were extremely popular. Despite costing up to $1,000, over 400,000 CD players were sold in the United States between 1983 and 1984. The success of the compact disc has been credited to the cooperation between Philips and Sony, who came together to agree upon and develop compatible hardware. The unified design of the compact disc allowed consumers to purchase any disc or player from any company and allowed the CD to dominate the at-home music market unchallenged. Digital audio laser disc prototypes in 1974. Ottens, director of the audio division of Philips, started a small group with the aim to develop an analog optical audio disc with a diameter of 20 cm and a sound quality superior to that of the vinyl. Record. However, due to the unsatisfactory performance of the analog format, two Philips research engineers recommended a digital format in March 1974. In 1977, Philips then established a laboratory with the mission of creating a digital audio disc. The diameter of Philips's prototype compact disc was set at 11.5 cm, the diagonal of a compact cassette. Hitaro Nakajima, who developed an early digital audio recorder within Japan's National Public Broadcasting Organization NHK in 1970, became general manager of Sony's audio department in 1971. His team developed a digital PCM adapter audio tape recorder using a Betamax video recorder in 1973. After this, in 1974 the leap to storing digital audio on an optical disc was easily made. 
Sony first publicly demonstrated an optical digital audio disc in September 1976. A year later, in September 1977, Sony showed the press of 30 centimeters disc that could play 60 minutes of digital audio using MFM modulation. In September 1978, the company demonstrated an optical digital audio disc with a 150-minute playing time, 44,056 Hz sampling rate. 16-bit linear resolution, and cross-interleaved error correction code, specifications similar to those later settled upon for the standard compact disc format in 1980. Technical details of Sony's digital audio disc were presented during the 62nd AES convention, held on 13-16 March 1979, in Brussels. Sony's AES technical paper was published on 1 March 1979. A week later, on 8 March, Philips publicly demonstrated a prototype of an optical digital audio disc at a press conference called Philips Introduced Compact Disc in Eindhoven, Netherlands. Collaboration and Standardization Sony executive Norio OHGA, later CEO and chairman of Sony and Hitaro Nakajima were convinced of the format's commercial potential and pushed further development despite widespread skepticism. As a result, in 1979, Sony and Philips set up a joint task force of engineers to design a new digital audio disc, led by engineers Keith Shuhammer Imink and Toshi Tada DOI. The research pushed forward laser and optical disc technology. After a year of experimentation and discussion, the task force produced the Red Book CD DAS standard. First published in 1980, the standard was formally adopted by the IEC as an international standard in 1987, with various amendments becoming part of the standard in 1996. Philips coined the term compact disc in line with another audio product, the compact cassette, and contributed the general manufacturing process, based on video laser disc technology. Philips also contributed 8 to 14 modulation, which offers a certain resilience to defects such as scratches and fingerprints. While Sony contributed the error correction method, CERC, the compact disc story, told by a former member of the task force, gives background information on the many technical decisions made, including the choice of the sampling frequency, playing time, and disc diameter. The task force consisted of around four to eight persons, though according to Phillips, the compact disc was invented collectively by a large group of people working as a team. First Red Book CDs and Players Red Book was the first standard in the Rainbow Books range. Phillips established the Polydor Pressing Operations Plant in Langenhagen near Hanover, Germany, and quickly passed a series of milestones. The first test pressing was of a recording of Richard Strauss's Einer Alpensinfonie, played by the Berlin Philharmonic and conducted by Herbert von Karajan, who had been enlisted as an ambassador for the format in 1979. The first public demonstration was on the BBC television programme Tomorrow's World in 1981, when the Bee Gees album Living Eyes was played. The first commercial compact disc was produced on 17 August 1982. It was a recording from 1979 of Claudio Arau performing Chopin waltzes. Arau was invited to the Langenhagen plant to press the start button. The first popular music CD produced at the new factory was The Visitors by ABBA. The first 50 titles were released in Japan on 1 October 1982. The Japanese launch was followed in March 1983 by the introduction of CD players and discs to Europe and North America. This event is often seen as the Big Bang of the digital audio revolution. The new audio disc was enthusiastically received, especially in the early adopting classical music and audiophile communities, and its handling quality received particular praise. As the price of players gradually came down, and with the introduction of the portable Walkman the CD began to gain popularity in the larger popular and rock music markets. 
The first artist to sell a million copies on CD was Dire Straits, with their 1985 album Brothers in Arms. The first major artist to have his entire catalogue converted to CD was David Bowie, whose 15 studio albums were made available by RCA Records in February 1985, along with four greatest hits albums. In 1988, 400 million CDs were manufactured by 50 pressing plants around the world. Further development and decline The CD was planned to be the successor of the gramophone record for playing music, rather than primarily as a data storage medium. From its origins as a musical format, CDs have grown to encompass other applications. In 1983, following the CD's introduction, Imink and Brach presented the first experiments with erasable compact discs during the 73rd AES convention. In June 1985, the computer-readable CD-ROM in. In 1990, CD-recordable were introduced, also developed by both Sony and Philips. Recordable CDs were a new alternative to tape for recording music and copying music albums without defects introduced in compression used in other digital recording methods. Other new video formats such as DVD and Blu-ray use the same physical geometry as a CD, and most DVD and Blu-ray players are backward compatible with audio CD. By the early 2000s, the CD player had largely replaced the audio cassette player as standard equipment in new automobiles, with 2010 being the final model year for any car in the US to have a factory-equipped cassette player. Currently, with the increasing popularity of portable digital audio players, such as mobile phones and solid-state music storage, CD players are being phased out of automobiles in favor of mini-jack auxiliary inputs and connections to USB devices. Meanwhile, with the advent and popularity of internet-based distribution of files in lossily compressed audio formats such as MP3, Sales of CDs began to decline in the 2000s. For example, between 2000 to 2008, despite overall growth in music sales and one anomalous year of increase, major label CD sales declined overall by 20%, although independent and DIY music sales may be tracking better according to figures released 30 March 2009, and CDs still continue to sell greatly. Awards and accolades Sony and Philips received praise for the development of the compact disc from professional organizations. These awards include Technical Grammy Award for Sony and Philips, 1998, IEEE Milestone Award, 2009, for Philips only with the citation, on 8 March 1979, NV. Philips Glow Eye Lamp and Fabrican demonstrated for the International Press a compact disc audio player. The demonstration showed that it is possible by using digital optical recording and playback to reproduce audio signals with superb stereo quality. This research at Philips established the technical standard for digital optical recording systems. Physical Details a CD is made from 1.2 mm thick, polycarbonate plastic and weighs 15 to 20 grams. From the center outward, components are the center spindle hole, the first transition area, the clamping area, the second transition area, the program area, and the rim. The inner program area occupies a radius from 25 to 58 mm. A thin layer of aluminium or, more rarely, gold is applied to the surface, making it reflective. The metal is protected by a film of lacquer normally spin-coated directly on the reflective layer. The label is printed on the lacquer layer, usually by screen printing or offset printing. CD data is represented as tiny indentations known as pits, encoded in a spiral track molded into the top of the polycarbonate layer. The areas between pits are known as lands. Each pit is approximately 100 nanometers deep by 500 nanometers wide, and varies from 850 nanometers to 3.5 micrometers in length. 
The distance between the tracks, the pitch, is 1.6 micrometers. A motor within the CD player spins the disc to a scanning velocity of 1.2 minus 1.4 meters per second, equivalent to approximately 500 rpm at the inside of the disc and approximately 200 rpm at the outside edge. The program area is 86.05 square centimeters, and the length of the recordable spiral is equals 5.38 kilometers. With a scanning speed of 1.2 meters per second, the playing time is 74 minutes, or of data on a CD-ROM. A disc with data packed slightly more densely is tolerated by most players. Using a linear velocity of 1.2 meters per second and a narrower track pitch of 1.5 micrometers increases the playing time to 80 minutes, and data capacity to a CD is read by focusing a 780 nanometers wavelength semiconductor laser housed within the CD player, through the bottom of the polycarbonate layer. The change in height between pits and lands results in a difference in the way the light is reflected. By measuring the intensity change with the photodiode, the data can be read from the disk. In order to accommodate the spiral pattern of data, the semiconductor laser is placed on a swing arm within the disk tray of a CD player. This swing arm allows the laser to read information from the center to the edge of a disk, without having to interrupt the spinning of the disk itself. The pits and lands themselves do not directly represent the zeros and ones of binary data. Instead, non-return to zero, inverted encoding is used. A change from pit to land or land to pit indicates a one, while no change indicates a series of zeros. There must be at least two and no more than ten zeros between each one, which is defined by the length of the pit. This in turn is decoded by reversing the 8 to 14 modulation used in mastering the disk, and then reversing the cross into lead read Solomon coding, finally revealing the raw data stored on the disk. These encoding techniques were originally designed for CD digital audio, but they later became a standard for almost all CD formats. Integrity CDs are susceptible to damage during handling and from environmental exposure. Pits are much closer to the label side of a disc, enabling defects and contaminants on the clear side to be out of focus during playback. Consequently, CDs are more likely to suffer damage on the label side of the disc. Scratches on the clear side can be repaired by refilling them with similar refractive plastic or by careful polishing. The edges of CDs are sometimes incompletely sealed, allowing gases and liquids to corrode the metal reflective layer and to interfere with the focus of the laser on the pits. The fungus Geotrichum candidum, found in Belize, has been found to consume the polycarbonate plastic and aluminium found in CDs. Disc shapes and diameters The digital data on a CD begins at the center of the disc and proceeds toward the edge which allows adaptation to the different size formats available. Standard CDs are available in two sizes. By far, the most common is 120 mm in diameter, with a 74 or 80 minute audio capacity and a 650 or data capacity. This capacity was reportedly specified by Sony executive Norio OHGA in May 1980 so as to be able to contain the entirety of the London Philharmonic Orchestra's recording of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony on one disc. This is a myth according to Kieser Mink, as the code format had not yet been decided in May 1980. The adoption of EFM one month later would have allowed a playing time of 97 minutes for 120 mm diameter or 74 minutes for a disc as small as 100 mm. The 120 mm diameter has been adopted by subsequent formats, including Super Audio CD, DVD, HD DVD, and Blu-ray disc. 80mm discs were originally designed for CD singles and can hold up to 24 minutes of music or of data but never became popular. Today, nearly every single is released on a 120mm CD, called a maxi-single.